thieves caught in the act after robbing multiple Dollar General stores. Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters held a news conference this afternoon confirming the arrest of four people. These are the four people officers grabbed. They are all... <laughs> Yo, man, this shit is insane, man. I was really in suspense, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I was in suspense. I was in suspense, man. I was in suspense, man. Oh, hold on, man. Let me get some water, man. I gotta get some water for this, man. Hold fast. Let's run that back, man. Thieves caught in the act after robbing multiple Dollar General stores. Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters held a news conference this afternoon confirming the arrest of four people. These are the four people officers grabbed. They are all in their early to mid-20s. News for Jack's anchor Janice Harris joining us now live in the studio with more on how those robbers were caught by JSO, Janice. Kid, it was an interesting story. Nonetheless, four were arrested on May 1st, just seconds after committing their fourth and final armed robbery. Tonight, we're getting new details on the stores they targeted and how they got caught. Today, I'm pleased to announce the arrests of four individuals who committed a series of armed robberies. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says these three men and one woman robbed multiple Dollar General stores at gunpoint taking thousands of dollars in cash. JSO. Hold up, man. What's on me name? Jack Jakethian. Jakari and Jakethian and Nathaniel. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Jakari. Jakari. Nathaniel. Jackie Thean and Trashonda. Series of armed robberies. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says these three men and one woman robbed multiple Dollar General stores at gunpoint, taking thousands of dollars in cash. JSO says the armed robbery started in April and suspects had a pattern, as seen in this video. They were clothed in hoodies, masked and gloved with two to three in the group, rushing up. Yo, is my name, is my man name really Solid Snake? Yo, pause, my nigga. P Solid Snake. Pause. No Diddy. No Miko. No Liberace. Solid Snake. Yikes. Move the Solid Snake, man. Need eight more contributors, man. Eight more contributors. We got we we got the regulars, man. The regulars have contributed, man. The regulars have contributed. We gonna get we're gonna shout them out in a minute. The Ock Nation regulars, the, the the people who contribute every night have contributed. 
Salute to them. I'm going to shout them out in a minute. We need eight more contributors, though, from the people who don't contribute every single night. The people that contribute every single night, I salute y'all. I'm going to shout y'all out once we get to 10 contributors. Because y'all carry the show. Y'all carry the show. Y'all in a separate category. Y'all carry the show every night. It's not fair for y'all to have to carry the show every night. And I appreciate y'all contributions. And I'm going to shout y'all out after we get to 10. So salute to you guys. But yeah, man, solid snake. Yikes. General stores at gunpoint taking thousands of dollars in cash. JSO says the armed robbery started in April and suspects had a pattern, as seen in this video. They were clothed in hoodies, masked and gloved with two to three in the group, rushing up on a store employee outside of the businesses as they exited just after closing time. April 9th at 925 at night on Fort Caroline Road, a security camera inside a store shows the robbers with guns standing near an employee, making that person open the store safe and the robbers take the money. JSO says they stole over. Okay, I salute these guys. I thought they was going in the dollar store and robbing the goddamn cash register. So these guys, at least they smart enough to get the safe. So salute to these guys. For $2,300. Then five days later on Yellow Bluff Road, a group of armed robbers still over $2,800. JSO discovered a pattern in the armed robbers' behavior. And JSO noticed the suspects were getting away in a white Dodge Charger every time. Then a third armed robbery by the same group about a week later. $3,000 stolen. JSO is paying attention, and the robbers don't know they're about to get caught. May 1st, the final armed robbery happens on North Main Street using the same pattern and getting away with over $3,400. But this time, JSO was waiting for the robbers with drones, SWAT team members, and officers in place. Drone footage shows the robbers running, hopping into their getaway car as SWAT is deployed. JSO says a distraction device was deployed. An officer fired a single round and no one was shot. Video shows how the getaway car was surrounded by JSO and the four were taken to jail. Though no one was injured during these armed robberies, Sheriff Waters says the employees have suffered from the trauma of guns in their faces. No, no one physically hurt, but of course, they're terrorized. The four are facing multiple felonies for their alleged spree of armed robberies. If found guilty, they could be in prison for decades. Two 9mm handguns and one 9mm AR style pistol were found in the charger. One. Sh Yo, nothing was lost. White liberals think that, like, some great miscarriage of, like, Something has was, nothing was lost here, man. Nothing was lost by these guys going to jail for 20 years. Nothing was lost. Shot is under investigation, under ad administrative review, rather, to determine why that one shot was fired. Sheriff Waters said that... Are you fucking serious? Under an administrative review, rather, to a pistol or found in the charger. One shot is under investigation, under an administrative review, rather, to determine why that one shot was fired. Sheriff Waters said that if you're ever in a situation where you find yourself in something like this, comply with the orders. Los Angeles is already...